the summer is summering <laughs> hello wonderful people it's a great day to be alive i'm actually enjoying my stay in edmonton there's you know quite some differences between Edmonton and Toronto but I hope you're doing well if you're new to this channel my name is Lydia Essenam I'm an, an international student here in Canada and I'm also an international education consultant currently so I took a vacation to Edmonton right so if you've been following my previous vlogs I've been taking you on my journey here and today i'm going to see fort edmonton i can't wait to be there i've heard quite a lot about it i've seen the reviews and i think it would be great to see it so i'm basically going there today don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join this amazing family of genuine relentless people so edmonton looks much more relaxed than toronto toronto is a basking city like it's hija hija <laughs> you know i i remember when i went to downtown edmonton i was like ah this can never be downtown toronto even though it was a monday it was so quiet like you can literally see everybody it was so quiet and everything i'm like ah this can never be toronto <laughs> oh my days but yeah i'm taking you to fort edmonton i don't know if i should take the uber or i should do the bus but i actually want to like explore the bus system here to see how it feels like and um i'll get off the bus and do like a few minutes walk yeah to the place so let's go and see fort edmonton ciao fort edmonton park is nestled on 158 acres of wooden park land along edmonton's river valley and began as canada centennial reconstruction project in 1967 Thanks to the dedicated efforts of the Rotary Club of Edmonton and the Fort Edmonton Foundation, the experience continues to expand upon Edmonton's story. Fort Edmonton Park is a leader in cultural tourism, offering local, regional and international guests a truly interactive and memorable experience. The expansive multi-attraction space provides a community gathering place for guests, whether it's a park visit, a private function, or a special event, every visit is a new adventure filled with immersive, unique experiences. Right here at Fort Edmonton, I traveled back in time on the 1919 Baldwin steam engine and train with me from the park station at the front of the park to the train platform at the end near the 1946 fort and the new indigenous people experience.
the 1846 forts, a fort built on fashion. In the early to mid 1800s, every respectable European gentleman sported a shiny felt top hat. These hats were not just the height of fashion, but were adorned as a status symbol. Unfortunately for Edmonton, they were made from beaver pelts. Demand for this material prompted the Hutton Base Company to establish the Edmonton House a trading post between four European goods, the local indigenous peoples, in exchange for the valuable beaver belts. But honestly, what I struggle with most is the ears. So you can see like it's really, it's like grainy, right? Yeah. So when you want to cut sideways to get the ears out, usually what would happen is I get one ear that's like proper and then one that's like really snubby and short. And then yeah. that's when you gotta chop off the other one. Yeah, so with a couple of horses. By 1846, Fort Edmonton was the most significant trading post west of the Red River settlement at Fort Gary. The population of Edmonton House varied according to the season, though approximately 110 men, women and children typically took up residence. As the indigenous people experience, we explored life through the diversity of First Nations and Metis people's histories, cultures, experiences, and perspectives local to indigenous life of the Beaver Hills or Edmonton region. Also, at the Indigenous People Experience, deep conversations with over 50 Indigenous elders, historians, educators, and community members informed the content. The stories, music, artwork, and text in the experience come from local Indigenous perspectives and voices guided through engagements with local indigenous communities, historical documents, and research. These stories, teachings, and memories have been passed through millennia. They reflect a rich and resilient history and deep connection to the land and seasons. Whether in Kui, Dene, Anishinaabe, Nakota, Blackfoot, or Michif, this shared knowledge is timeless. It does not just exist in the past, it is here today.
After my tour of the indigenous people experiences, I visited a theater in a setting unlike any other in Edmonton, Capitol Theater. This iconic recreation of Edmonton's original Capitol Theater, Seca, in 1929, the former Jasper Avenue facade that was in a place following the original Capitol Theater's restoration has been captured right here on 1920 streets. Don't forget to take a snapshot in front of this iconic building when you visit. Ford Edmonton Spark is proud to present the Telus Store Here series, a collection of short documentaries that highlight over 120 years of Edmonton and Alberta's diverse heritage. Their films that are being showed include Secret Edmonton, that's Canada's first mosque, Secret Edmonton, Winifred Stewart, Secret Alberta, the former life of Amber Valley, Secret Alberta, it's a prohibition, Punjabi, Pioneers of Alberta, which I was lucky to watch, Blind Ambition, the Whoop May story. And these shows run all week from Wednesday to Sunday. Thank you so much for watching this episode and remember to subscribe to the channel. I must say that my journey to Fort Edmonton was quite an experience. Uh, in fact, the interactive virtual adventure was mind-blowing. And so if you are in Edmonton or whenever you get to visit Edmonton, do want to visit Fort Edmonton Park because an adventure awaits you. Thanks for watching. Keep being awesome. Love you. Bye-bye.